Hi, I'm Peter Kalmström of Kalmström.com Business Solutions. In this demonstration, I will show you how to create an array of a bunch of strings here. In the previous demo, I created code and that works rather well, but I'm now gonna be doing an array instead, which is even more cool, I think. So first of all, we're gonna do a join of these. I'm going to start by typing equals, and then we're gonna do the text join. And then we're gonna do the limiter. I'm gonna do the double quotes first, and then I'm gonna do single quotes and a comma and a single quote again. So the double quotes there, they indicate where the delimiter string starts and ends. So the delimiter is gonna be my single quote, comma, single quote, that's what I want. And then of course I want the semicolon to, for, to text the next parameter into my formula. And then I want to get the whole range there. There we go. And now I'm just gonna end that. So now we get a string that is separated by single quotes and commas, which is exactly what I want. Then let's see how I can use that now in PowerShell. Here we go. So I'm going to create a variable called departments, and that's going to be the string that I just built. And notice that I put a single quote mark before and after. So now if I run that line of code, I have an array. Let's just work a little bit with that array and see what we can do with it. Let's clear out the screen first, clear screen, there we go. Now the departments, so just type that out and you have the whole list there, of course. And you can do a count on that. So you have five of them, beautiful. And you can also do like this to get a single one. So if I get number three there, that should be the sales. Yeah, third one, because it is zero base. So if I do the zero one, that gives me the first one. So the three would be the fourth, which makes sales. All right, so there we have the departments. Great, we can take all of this code out there and instead work with this simple code there. Uh, let's move that one also. There we go. Now we have the departments and then we can do a, another type of loop. We did some loops up here because now we have an array and an array has the ability to do for each. So I'm going to do that for each and then we're going to name the variable for each dip in departments. And then again, we have the curly brackets to indicate that this is what we're going to do with each department. First of all, let's just do this, write host dip. See how it works. And if we run that now, it is going to just write out the name of the departments again, which is fine. Now, uh, instead of writing host there, we can just do and create my list, right? Create list, my list, there we go. And the list name would be, let's see, the list name, there we go. And that would be the dep. And the list URL would be the same because we don't have any spaces and stuff there. So that's good. And that would be the dep again. All right, so now we can run this code again for each. And run that bit, selection. And here you go, list HR. Now it's creating those lists again. You can of course do the same with the removal. Just copy that whole thing again. And instead of create list, we could do the remove move PMP list and the list that we want to remove is of course the depth and this time we want to make sure that we force it so we don't get any questions. Let's just check if we have them here. Refresh. Now we should have all the lists there. Great. And now if we remove those, run that, remove and I don't get any questions. Great. And let's see, they're all removed now. Yes, they are indeed. So what I showed you here was two things. First of all, how to create an array from an Excel list. It's rather powerful, the text join function there. And then I just copied and pasted that in here, put the extra single quote before and after it, because I only got, this This was the, my delimiter, remember? This part was my delimiter right there. Uh, and then I showed you the for each loop. So working with for each loops and Excel creating arrays. That's what I showed you in this demo. Thank you for watching this one.